to Studio Scoops. I am Priyanka. And I am Arjun. Welcome and I guess we have an interesting podcast today. What do you say? It is going to be an amazing podcast. Yes, because we are now on the sixth podcast for our F1 and... Round five of the F1 season 2021, the Baku GP, Azerbaijan. <laughs> Man, was it a banger or not? Yes, it was, Arjun. And I think, you know, a lot happened on the tracks. What do you think? Yeah, so you remember we did an Instagram live for it, yeah. just uh, just to see what happened during qualifying. This was first time when I actually predicted the race would be a, a race would be fun. So, what do you want to name this podcast? I'm excited. So we're going to name it as the Comeback Kids, the Comeback <laughs> Podium, because we didn't expect this podium at the end of the day. Hmm. What we expected was a normal domination by Red Bull and Mercedes, hmm. but we saw something completely different, and it just changed in a matter of few seconds. Yeah, it was a roller coaster ride for the audience and. After all that happened at the race, I I have my sympathies for all the effort which was put in in the qualifying. Yeah, I think you felt bad for Charles Leclerc and you felt bad for Max Verstappen as well. <laughs> Don't you think qualifiers had more action? Qualifiers did definitely had more action because everybody was acclimatizing themselves to the track. And the turn 15 was mm. was catching everybody out as a result of which. It set up the race quite nicely for the race day basically. Mm. Uh, but... When the race started, first few laps, mm. we saw we saw the normal domination by by Red Bull and Mercedes. Although you wanted Charles Leclerc to actually take over the lead and yes. go really fast. <laughs> yes, I wanted him. It was his day of showcasing. But he did. He actually did. If you notice, no, he did. He tried his best to try mm. to remain in the first position. Mm. But to pay again, Ferrari still don't have the pace. As a result of which, Hamilton was able to overtake him. Yes, and. And what an overtake. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but okay, coming to the race itself, you know, did you feel that did justice to the audience or? Oh, definitely. I remember you calling me up and telling me that, you know, Arjun, what the hell is happening now? <laughs> Something else has conspired totally. Yeah. From tire failures to all the drama happening. It's the first restart of the season. Yes. Uh, round five, which is quite early actually, where you had actually a re- race restart. Yeah. That was uh, that was amazing to see as well. But again, so this first started out. So the beginning of the race was quite normal, like uh, very processional in a way, yeah. where Mick, uh, Mercedes again screwed up in their pit strategy as a result of which. Max was able to overtake them when he was in the pits as well. Mm. Checo did a uh, Checo did an overcut and was able to slot into the second position. Mm. And it was I thought it was going to be a Red Bull a Red Bull one two mm. with Mercedes uh, with Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton mm. finishing third. Mm. And the race was pretty boring after that. Nothing else was going on. Everybody was following each other. Mm. Everybody was trying to uh, get something done. Mm. Then you had you had the major first tire failure by Lance Stroll. Yeah. Which was taken, which he was quite surprised as well because mm-hmm. he was he was like really, yeah, uski thori, uh, uski thori fatty. <laughs> because the radio conversation after that was yeah. basically he said like get me out of this car. Yeah. Because it it was very unexpected. Mm. So after that also the race went on mm. normally, and then after that, mm. I think it was like three four laps remaining till the end of the race. Yeah. Max was tapping suddenly crashed out and yeah. and like ev- everybody everybody gasped and everybody went like oh hell yeah. like i could hear the co- collective sigh of the entire yeah. uh, entire f1 community with that yeah and the the memes and the trolls and everything which started after that it had a common sentiment what the fuck just happened exactly <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, from the the drivers to the pit stop to the crew, everybody was shocked to see a restart at the yeah, race. So, uh, like so, actu- so actually, Red Bull, uh, Christian Horner and the entire team, which is at the pit wall, mm-hmm. managing his strategy and all, they immediately came on the radio and they told the FIA race director that it's the problem with the tyre because they, the sensors which are there on the car did mm-hmm. not detect a tyre failure. Mm-hmm. It happened out of the blue. Pirelli was clearly put into a hot kettle <laughs> and they immediately came up with a response yeah. as soon as the race ended actually that it was mostly due to debris. Yeah. Max Verstappen wasn't very happy with that response. Yeah. He said of course they would say it was the debris because yeah. <laughs> because it's a, it's an entire season that they have to go on these tyres. Yeah and it's, it's it's still just five races down in the season. You saw, you saw him how frustrated he was. Yeah. He, like, he kicked his tyres. And he was like really miffed is putting it lightly, but he was really he was really fried with the entire situation. <laughs> what about our rookies? How are they doing? Oh yeah, Yuki Sonoda was quite good. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uh, there was a funny bit of radio banter which happened mm-hmm. where Alpha Tauri's race engineer was telling him 
come on you can do it push mm-hmm. push 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 <laughs> and he's got a little bit of a potty mouth <laughs> so he said stfu <laughs> i'm i'm doing whatever i can right now <laughs> no i can understand the amount of pressure which comes on these uh, these players somebody was mentioning that during a full season you know if it's too humid too much of an uh, clam it takes them time to acclim- acclimatize themselves to mm-hmm. the climatic conditions to the wind conditions and then of the amount of pressure to keep these cars going exactly. yeah, i mean the, who who had who had seen that coming for most of the people who were like you know they were going in a qualify and i had a like a five red flag situation so nobody had seen this coming and, exactly yeah so yeah so so what do you think were the highs and the lows of this race i mean well the highs was checko winning his second his second race within six races he was able to win the race for red bull mm-hmm. sebastian vettel he was having a tough season finally yeah. he finished second in his aston martin which gives aston martin their first podium yeah and my favorite driver pierre gasly oh, my god i was so happy to see him p3 <laughs> and he had a tough time as well because he after the race finished his radio commentary his radio mm. was saying that i don't know how i did it guys mm. I, he literally had no hi- idea how he could do it because mm. what happened was that his engine was failing mm. which allowed um, sebastian vettel to overtake him mm. and he had a tough fight with charles leclerc mm. if leclerc had a little more pace or few more laps Mm. I think he would have finished on the podium as well. Yeah. But luckily it was just 3 laps remaining yeah. and he just nicked it from uh, Charles Leclerc. Let's talk about uh, the drivers starting at uh, towards the end, you know, and the the teams that you think have not been doing so well, you know, where do you see them going now after so mostly the second drivers who are there in the team like for McLaren you have the Daniel Daniel Ricardo. Mm. He's still getting used to the car. Mm. Signs was better as well. uh but he did he did one small he did one small error which kind of ruined his race mm. where he misjudged the turn so he just went into uh, he mm. just went uh, went off the track a little bit mm. but he reversed and he got back on mm. but that uh, that ruined his uh, race so what happens is that you're in that zone and you're pushing 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 mm. but something like this happens and then you are like you know uh you need to uh, you need to refocus yeah. and refocusing at 334 kilometers per hour uh <laughs> it takes a little time let's just say yes. that yes <laughs> and and of, of course you know all the fans must have been sh- so shocked to see that you know towards the end just for two laps that i still remember people saying they will not restart they will not restart the yeah. race and you know of course for the the for the people to uh, who were at the end they must be like what the fuck let's <laughs> just complete this thing now. Yeah, so, so so again so the commentators at that time were saying that okay uh as a fan you would want to see the race completed mm-hmm. but the rule actually suggests that if you have like a red flag so close to the uh, close to the end of the race mm-hmm. the previous two laps the leader mm-hmm. in the previous two laps is declared as the winner that oh. means max verstappen would have been would have taken the win with checo mm-hmm. uh, or sergio perez being second mm-hmm. and uh, hamilton third okay. but michael massey the ra- race director he said that no no let's just finish it let's do it for the fans <laughs> and my god did he do it for the fans, fans. because when lewis hamilton locked up his brake mm. i saw everybody shouting a few friends of mine they called me up and they were like literally shouting like you know mm. and like they were screaming with joy mm-hmm. not not because of the fact that lewis hamilton went off track because of the fact that it was so exciting to see something yeah. so unpredictable happening a seven time world champion making such a amateur mistake yeah and which co- which caused him to go out of the points mercedes right. didn't score anything and they were struggling the entire weekend as well yeah. i think i just want to say that maybe it's not Mercedes time right now yeah. they need to fo- refocus on building a better strategy yeah, yeah so that's why they're using the banter right so Toto mm-hmm. Wolff the t- uh, team principal of Mercedes and mm-hmm. Christian Horner they've gotten into a, a big heated argument mm-hmm. i wouldn't say heated argument there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of banter mm-hmm. and a lot of mind games and up one upmanship which they're doing off track mm-hmm. where Christian Horner is telling him to shut up he has a problem with the rear wings of the car okay. Toto Wolff okay but Christian Horner is saying that he should not he should not talk so much about it because mm. the front wings are not as cool. Mm. But there, there there is something illegal going on there. So this banter is going on in the background. Mm. So then Toto Wolff in response to that comes and says that Christian Horner is a windbag and should just stick to his th- uh, stick to his thing. 
Mm. Meanwhile, Christian Horner is saying that I don't think he should interfere in our business and rather look at himself. Yeah. So this kind of stuff is going, going on. on, and that's yeah. between the team principals themselves, yeah. who are supposed to control the drivers. Drivers, and I, I, it's it's a shock because at that time, drivers are again under a lot of pressure, and then you know these kind of banter's are getting recorded. But being did you see like uh, I don't know whether you read their body language and all that. Like you know, Hamilton is pretty much almost in the zone and all that stuff, and also Max Verstappen. No, mm. he is very focused. Whenever he drives, yeah. So the thing is that whenever they get into the car, they do their race. Mm. Okay, if they are fighting each other, mm. they give each other space as well. I've seen that. Yeah. Although a lot of people have said they probably would have like a coming together moment where they might take out each other. Yeah. I don't see that happening because they are racers, yeah. and they do have a mutual respect for one another as well. Mm. I know, and at the end of the day, it's all. It's all about the race and nothing personal at it. <laughs> so, yes. yeah, it's it's it was a tough race and it's one of the toughest uh, tracks to be at. And yeah, we have to give it to them to complete the race uh, after what we saw in the qualifying. Yes, so, yes. and hence the comeback podium. My God, <laughs> Checo was kicked out of Racing Point and joined Red Bull. Sebastian Vettel was kicked out of Ferrari and joined Aston Martin. Mm. And Gasly was kicked out of Red Bull and. Went back to Alpha Tauri. Yeah. Ever since he's gone back to Alpha Tauri, he's gone onto a different level Very itself. Different. And this was a master class stroke by Vettel to finish second because he started he started out in P eleven. Okay. And from eleventh position, he just had the best tires always. Care of his car well. Hmm. Played continuously was in touch with his race engineer. Hmm. What is going on? Who who are two steps ahead of mm. me? What is going on behind me? He was very well aware. He yeah. was, he had reached that state of heightened. Friends, Ross keeps on saying, right? Unagi. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he was literally in that. He had that unagi mm-hmm. moment oh, where he was self aware about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think all all is good in this particular race when it comes for the fans. They had a lot of excitement to catch up on, and this weekend was worth the time to watch the whole. Oh, I had laps. a roller coaster of emotions. I bet yes. you must have had as well. Of course, like. and our our idea to do the the live before the uh, the race was so apt because by the end of it, nobody was was in the mood to talk because everyone was in a state of shock for a good good while. That yeah. it happened. Great. Yeah. So uh, now, Arjun, which is the next race? So the next race is going to be Paul Ricard, the French Grand Prix. That's Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon's home race. The French drivers. It's mm. their home race. People say the track is going to be very boring because mm. the track is it doesn't have too much of overtaking overtaking positions. Mm. It's more of like a strategy based game. Okay. So you might see something similar to a Spanish GP going on, mm. but again. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> also, mean, also they have changed the track for this year to add that overtaking in the start finish straight. Oh, so we might see a little bit of action over there. Mm-hmm. Might, might not. Mm-hmm. Uh, an interesting part about this track is that the runoff areas. Mm-hmm. You must have seen a lot of gravel or grass, right, yeah. on the on the runoff areas as they go off the track and everything. Mm-hmm. This has got hard tarmac, which is blue and red in color. Mm-hmm. So the blue is light abrasion tarmac. And the red is hard abrasion tarmac. Okay. So when you say light abrasion, meaning when the car goes offline, mm. it slows down your car because the friction generated by the tires is higher than on the track. And if it goes onto the red part of the track, mm. it is high abrasion, which means it destroys your tire even more. Yeah. Yeah. But people can join the track even after going off track. You know. Yes. So it, it, that's the, that's a good technology thing that they have done. Yeah. Uh, it was mostly used for testing before, mm-hmm. but this time they are u- uh, they are using it. I think for the past two years, minus the co, I am not counting the COVID times. Mm. So 2019 and 2021, these two years they uh, they are going to use it as a proper racetrack. Yeah. Uh, it debuted in 2018. Mm-hmm. Let's hope for a great race, man. Yeah, yeah, I am excited, and yes, I'm sure we have still two weeks to go between these two races. Uh, The like the coming race exactly yeah well, let's 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 uh hear out from our listeners any one of you wants to come and talk to us during the live or on our podcast we are more than happy to have you guys on our podcast and record with you guys Definitely. as well Definitely. yeah we want to hear what the fans think about the first let's, let's fa- keep it more open source and yes let's be- <laughs> yes why not so guys you have to follow us on Studio Scoops. uh on our instagram page you have our spotify handle with the same name and our google podcast as well so just follow us keep us updated on what you think about the current f1 race and the season and we would love to 
love to include some new point of view, new perspectives, you know, in this whole podcast that we are doing. And the season just gets better from here. That's all I'm going to say about Yay, that. Yeah, <laughs> the F1 Yoda knows better. <laughs> Okay guys, have a great time and wherever you guys are, stay safe and stay...